Jason Botchford ran an interesting poll on his Pravis after the Canucks beat the LA Kings. It was, would you be happier with Louis Erickson scoring two goals in the Canucks winning or Brock Besser scoring in the Canucks losing? More than 75% of you said Besser scoring and the Canucks lose. And that's accurate. People do not care about the results with this team. Again, it's about progress. It's about star players. So why then, when Brock Besser was cross-checked into the boards, was there no reaction from the Canucks? Travis Green was asked about it after the game and said no one needed to jump in and deal with it, but I digress, they do. It brings up the bigger question of what happens with this team. Local talk about the Canucks dominated, about whether the Sedins will be back next year and what that means for the Canucks at the trade deadline. Who do they get? Where do they go in free agency afterwards if the Sedins are back or if they aren't back? But I put this challenge to you, Jim Benning, or whoever happens to fill that seat if he gets canned. It's the makeup of this team. We're seeing some nice skill pieces. We're seeing some good forwards. But if you're dealing Erica Branson, which you have to do, by the way, because he will not resign here, you start to need to get more physical on the blue line. And you have to get guys who will give more pushback or Brock Besser's going to take more hits like he did last night.